Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Johnny Chase here, uh, and it's time for a well overdue vlog. Um, mainly because um, we're one day left in April, and I didn't do Vita this year. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Vita is, Vita is V E D A vlog every day April. It's kind of a way to get people to you know start you know put, producing more stuff on YouTube, uh, more personal stuff, I guess. Uh, a lot of people I know do it. Um, guys, I'm subscribed to like my Cherie, uh, Doctor. Excuse me, Doctor Holocaust. Uh, just finished lunch there, so I'm a little bit more hiccupy than usual. So I didn't do that. So I figured I'd just do a vlog over what happened the last month. The reason I didn't do Vita is because uh, I was on vacation for two weeks. Uh, I know it didn't seem like it on the channel because uh, I had a bunch of backlog. Uh, couples plays and uh, other things that I wanted to get out uh, while I was away so I had those all scheduled so that the channel wasn't you know a barren wasteland for a full week uh, and just stuff that was on the other channel that not a whole lot of people probably saw so I'm glad you guys are you know watching them here and I'm glad you guys are enjoying them uh, be sure to give uh, things thumbs up at least that will let me know whether you like or dislike something and I know a lot of you dislike uh, the Total Divas reviews, but they're going to keep coming. We're going to do the whole season. Uh, and then afterwards, I think we'll, we'll just kind of let it go. Because, uh, who knows, maybe I am pissing off a lot of people. Who, uh, maybe not. Uh, but that's one of the things I kind of wanted to talk about in this uh, vlog today. But we'll get into that uh, when we get into that. First thing I want to announce is uh, next week I'm going to do a QA. and a uh, Last year in Vita, I did uh, a QA and a and... People seem to really like it. I got quite a few questions. Uh, turned out to be a long video. So I'm going to ask all of you guys, leave a comment down below with a question, and uh, I will answer it. It can be about anything. It can be about the show. It can be about me. Uh, nothing's off topic. Oh, if something is off topic, I will definitely let you know that. Uh, I'll let you know that by either putting a reply in the comment saying, too personal, not going to answer it. Um, if things escalate, then I'll be deleted with We'll come to that when we come to that. Let me take a drink here. Diet Pepsi and a Coca-Cola mug. Don't give a fuck. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I will, instead of doing, giving everyone like one day to put in questions, I'll give a full week and then next week I'll record uh, my answers to your questions. So leave everything down below and I'll get to them. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to talk about is uh, this new kick that uh, I see a lot of people doing now uh, called Patreon. For a lot of guys that don't know what uh, Patreon is, Patreon is kind of like Kickstarter, but it's more of a subscription base. Whereas with Kickstarter, you make a video, you give out your plan, it says, I'm making this video game, I need X amount of dollars to finish it. Uh, and if we get that, then we'll do it. If not, then or then it just doesn't happen. Uh, or if we get this amount, okay, here's the stretch goal. So if I make this amount, then I'll put it on the 3DS. If I make this amount, then I'll put it on Xbox Live Arcade and go through the horrible certification process. So, but it's like it's kind of like that, but it's a subscription base. So like you are um, showing your patronage by giving two dollars, three dollars, four dollars a month. Uh, and the more that builds up, uh, there's like two separate things. There's like the there's kind of like what stretch goals are that says if I get a thousand dollars a month, I will do this thing. Um, if you and if you are pledging me five dollars or ten dollars, I will do this for you. Like you will be part of a li private live stream, you will be part of um, I'll put your name in the credits, uh, I'll plug your YouTube channel, I, I've just been going over a lot of them, because a lot of uh, prominent YouTubers use it. Um, most recently, Noah Antweiler, um, the Spoonie one, uh, for Spoonie Experiment, has uh, put up a patronage. Uh, Pushing Up Roses, uh, Smooth McGroove, who does the acapella uh, songs. Uh, oh god, I was going through the patron page just recently. Um, uh, some of this part of uh, full screen screw attack network now. Uh, Erica Zabo, uh, fellow Canuck uh, video game and anime vlogger, has started patronage. Dr. Holocaust, who I mentioned, uh, does a patronage. Um, so that's something I've been kind of toiling around with. Only thing is, is that I don't know if it would be feasible for me to do that because, A, I don't know what I could really offer as far as like incentives or. Um, what I would do with the money 
Um, the ideas I had for if I could get X amount per month and all this is obviously new equipment. Um, I've been really wanting to get a Canon Rebel uh, DSLR for shooting because you know the picture's better, you can focus, uh, do so much more stuff than the uh, JVC HD camera that I have. I mean, it's a, it's a nice machine. I I, I like it, it's just I don't have the options. For, and the one thing I want is sound. Like I want to have something that I can put a boom mic or a wireless mic, a clip mic, or a handheld mic that like basically what I want to do with this is that uh, what now I'm doing is I'm syncing up audio with this, my uh, snowball mic. Uh, so I'm, I'm that's what I'm using now for my cheap and whore videos and that's what we're using for uh, a couple's play so that's not really going to change but as far as like I want to take these things to conventions like, I want to do convention videos I want to go you know interview guests I want to interview cosplayers you know just have some general fun at the conventions because I'm kind of fallen off of the cosplay um, for those who have seen my Mass Effect armor build um, there will not be a part three to that uh, I kind of gave up on it I, I finished it poorly look like shit but I ended up tossing the whole thing because I used the wrong type of uh, material to make the actual armor like the the foam mats uh, they were too thin so they didn't stay in place when I tried to melt them so I kind of gave up on that uh, I did uh, Jason Todd last uh, Halcon and wasn't really proud of myself so the last day I just decided you know I'm not going to cosplay at all and Kind of had more fun just walking around, interacting with other people, not in cosplay. So, you know, I'm, you know, every, every cosplay is great for everyone. I mean, it's good to show off your artistic side. It's just not for me. I, I did it for three years and I'm happy to kind of just retire from it and just go ahead and do these other type of videos at conventions. So, back to Patreon. That's one of the things I would be looking at as a stretch goal is to like, if I get X amount of dollars, uh, I want to take that money to get the Canon Rebel, and if I reach X amount of dollars to get the Canon Rebel and some type of uh, mic equipment, maybe even a portable lighting, because I know it, in some areas of uh, conventions, the lighting can be like, you know, pure crap, so, you know, that's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, as far as like uh, stretch goals, the only other thing I can really think of is, it's be something community based, as I know Dr. Holocaust does a live chat, uh, a live stream for his Patreon, um, uh, uh, people where it's just you know a couple hours uh, once a month to uh, do whatever the only thing I can really think of is maybe a live stream Xbox live party and we all agree on one game um, to play and you know team up maybe maybe like some uh, multiplayer FPS's or open world games like I know this month is the last month you're going to be able to play Red Dead Redemption before before GameSpy shuts down the uh, the server so maybe do something like that uh, I don't I'm not gonna have Patreon up by then because uh, I'm still even considering it because right now I'm only sitting at about 380 subscribers and I don't think that really kind of justifies a Patreon uh, campaign it's more for the people that have got a large uh, following a large subscriber base and I'm kind of just sitting here now I'm trying to I'm trying to get everything else built up so uh, who knows leave a comment down below if you're not gonna ask a question leave a comment down below and let me know if a patreon would be a good idea and what suggestions you might have if I were to do something like this um, what kind of stretch goals uh, and what kind of rewards would you be looking for uh, finally I'm looking at doing uh, other types of videos uh, Trying to get more use out of the Elgato besides just recording achievement horror videos and um, and let's plays. Um, I know Call of Duty videos uh, like raging is pretty popular. Uh, I imagine I would have probably the most rage having not played a COD game since uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare 1. So I was thinking maybe that'd be a fun idea. Uh, maybe more Minecraft Let's Plays. I know we have one on the docket that's going to be coming up, uh, which I think is a really fun idea that I'm surprised Rooster Teeth hasn't done yet, and I'm not going to mention it just so I don't jinx myself because I did that with the Ender Dragon, <laughs> and look what happened. Uh, so we got another one in the pipeline for that. Um, 
But I think though with the Minecraft, it's a little hard because we only have the one Xbox and we only have the one screen. So we can't really, you know, multitask and, you know, have two, I don't have two capture devices. I only have the one for myself. So, uh, yeah, so that's the thing. Um, I'm just still trying to think of like other ones. I'm thinking of doing like short little classic, uh, retro reviews. So like taking one game off my shelf and be like, here's, this is a good game. Here's why Here's some gameplay, go out and find it and don't pay more than X amount at flea markets or eBay or anything like that. Um, that's another idea I've had kicking around because uh, this YouTube page has is kind of becoming something different now. Like this was going to just be like achievement horror, and then I just started doing a whole whack of vlogs, and then I started doing let's plays. Tried switching the let's plays over to another channel that didn't work, so I brought them back. So that's why the title, like the the URL, is I'm stuck with achievement horror John for foreseeable future but I just have Johnny Chase as the the name thanks to Google Plus that's the only good thing about Google Plus is I can change the name of my channel uh, not the URL but just the name of the channel so that's good that's pretty much all I had to say um, I could probably talk briefly about my vacation I mean I went to the Dominican Republic in Putacana for a week at an all-inclusive resort where my food and drinks and Everything was covered for a full week and it was fantastic. Uh, I met so many people uh, from the U.S., uh, locally from Canada. I mean, we had people from the next province over that uh, we were hanging out with for a bit. Um, I met a teacher from Virginia, a uh, heavy southern accent. It looked like Bill Shatner. <laughs> um, met some couples from Canada and the U.S. and met a couple from Switzerland who are close swarmers from the U.S. because the girl was wearing a bikini with stars and stripes on it. I was like, oh, another U.S. couple. And she's like, no, 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 we're from uh, Switzerland. I'm like, oh, okay. And they, we, we had mugs there that we bought from the gift shop and everyone was asking us for that because, like, we go to these all-inclusive clubs, they will, like, you know, everything's, like, bottomless. You know, you get as much booze as you want or soft drink if, you know, your kids because this wasn't an adults-only resort this was like for everyone so kids were running around which was kind of annoying them constantly jumping in the pool and i'm just kind of like sitting there at the bar and trying to drink and just you see splashes all over the place i'm just like uh the beer's helping uh yeah so that was, that was a great time uh didn't get super sick uh not by heat stroke or heat exhaustion or sunburn or anything even though i did get kind of Red. I don't know how well that's translating on there, but you can at least see uh, fingerprints there. Where like the one area I didn't put sunblock one day, so that happened. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, it, it, the only time I got sick is I I overdrank. Like one day was like today's the day I just get shit faced, and uh, I got really sick after or before supper time. It was before supper time, I'm pretty sure. Uh, after that, it was fine, but, you know, kids, when you start seeing spots and your vision starts to blur, put the booze down. Switch, go back, go to water. Pro tip from me. Uh, it was a good time. Um, maybe, uh, I guess, um, down below, I'll put a link. I think the photo album I have on my Facebook is public, so if you guys want to see any of the photos that I took, uh, I got tons down there. We also went on an awesome... Uh, pirate dinner theater show uh, that they put you on this giant ship and they sail you off to an island. <laughs> oh, sorry. They they put you they put you on this boat and they you know it's a, it's a big din dinner theater show. There's like little shops and you know mag you know magistrates and all that stuff. You know it's my case stuff, but you know we like pirates, so it, it was really entertaining. Uh, they took us on a, a, a pirate ship uh, out to an island that was just off of all the resorts. We had buffet dinner. Um, I had like four or five beers and then they took us back and we had another show and it was a good time and uh, I got tons of uh, photos of that and I've got a big long video I'm going to edit together with that but uh, i got to be careful because I think most of the songs they played were public domain I hope one I know is from Dead Man's Chest, Pirates of the Caribbean but but if you guys are ever in uh, Putacana in any resort, if any of the people ask you Go to, um, uh, uh, I think it's Buccaneer, Pirate or Pirate Buccaneer. Uh, go to the dinner theater show. It's it's 130 US per person, 
but trust me, it's well worth it. You're going to be entertained. You're going to have a good time. You're going to have a good meal. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about on this little uh, vlog and get everyone up to date as to what was going on on the channel and all that good stuff. So, yeah, Q&A next week. Leave me a question down below if you want to ask me anything. I will answer as the best of my ability. Uh, leave me suggestions for Patreon if you think it's a good idea. If you don't think it's a good idea, then I won't do it. Um, and also ideas for different videos. Like I'm thinking of actually, you know, going out renting Call of Duty Ghosts, playing multiplayer, and just, you know, watch me get my ass kicked. Because uh, I have not played a military shooter since Call of Duty 4, and they just don't interest me. The only reason I would play it is for the lols. And I swear there's no, I hope there's no multiplayer achievement. I, they, they've never been prominent for multiplayer achievements. But I'd hate to have a uh, gamer score stuck on my record and just be like, oh shit, I'll never be able to get that. Just like, um, oh god, what's the name of the achievement? Um, you do the epilogue in 4, uh, and you have to do it on veteran. Uh, I think it's uh, Mile High Club, Mile High Club. Beat that mission in under a minute. Yeah, that'll never happen. So anyways, thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, I hope it was infor uh, informative, and I hope I entertained you somehow. I just need, There's a few things I just had to get off my chest before I went back to uh, regular videos here. So uh, thank you guys so much. Again, Q&A next week. Leave your qu uh, questions down below in the comments, and uh, I will get to them as soon as possible. Uh, well, I'll be recording them next week. And uh, Patreon, good idea, bad idea? Let me know. Anyways, guys. You stay classy, and uh, I'll see you later.